Good afternoon, everybody. Matt M. Roy back again. Today, I thought I'd take out my old DOS gaming system. Um, I thought I did a video about this a while back, but I guess I never did. Um, I've actually had this in storage now for about a year. Purchased this maybe about three or four years ago. I wanted something really good to, to play DOS games with. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so... About three years ago, when our thrift store used to get a lot of computers in, I came across this little beauty. This is a Dell Dimension XPS. It is the D model D233. This is a Pentium 2, 233 MHz Dell. Now I know most of you are saying, well Matt, shouldn't your computer be older for a DOS game machine? Something like a 3, a 486, even a Pentium 1? Normally I would say yes, but when, after I bought this I did some research, because I was originally going to use this as a Windows 95 gaming system. I did some research, and about 90% of older DOS games will run fine on anything slower than a Pentium 2 350. So anything Pentium 2 350 or under will run most DOS games just fine. Now, again, this has been in storage for a little over a year now, and I just took it back out because I missed using it. So, this is totally unedited. This is a cold start up of this Dell Dimension. I'm sorry, Dell Dimension XPS D233. So, here we go. And I already got the monitor turned on, so let's see what happens. Hear the hard drive trying to spin up. I found the hard drive. There we go. I have a CD ROM drive here installed. All right, now we got the C prompt. I'll show you the version. It is running MS DOS version 6.22, which is the official last version of DOS standalone before they went to Windows 95, Windows 98, and they had their own versions of DOS built in. But this is the full, last full featured version. Um, See if I can go in and show you some things about this. Yeah, we go, we'll go into the Microsoft Diagnostics. Under computer, it's not known because again it is a Pentium 2. It sees it as an 80387, which is the best, that's the best of its knowledge. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay. Right here it's showing what it is correct. It actually has 32 megabytes of memory in it. So if we go under memory it will show you how that comes out. Again, sorry for the screen flicker. This is a uh, older monitor. I will be doing a video about this at a later date. But you can see there 31,744 kilobytes, which roughly equals 32 gigabytes. Use a little bit for the system. And we have a regular VGA video card. I think what's actually in this, yeah, what's actually in this is a Trident, so it is finding the video card. It is a 4 megabyte video card, so not only can I run the DOS programs, but I can also run my Windows programs. Um, it does not have a network card in it. Again, MS-DOS version 622. Regular PS2 style mouse. And it does have a sound card. It has a Sound Blaster uh, 16 uh, emulating, uh, what do they call it? It's a Vibra card. It's not the higher end one, but it does a good job. And it does have a game adapter on it. Now I'll show you the mouse that I'm using. It's actually really cool. This is an original IBM PS2 mouse, probably from the early 90s. And if I can get that to focus... You could pause the video to read that. And you can see it's actually made in Armonk, New York, where um, <laughs> IBM used to be. I think they may still have a factory or two there. 
Uh, let's see, for disk drives we have the A drive, which is the floppy drive. C drive, which is the hard drive. The, you would think the D drive is the CD-ROM drive, but actually that is the X drive. The D drive in this computer is actually the ZIP100 drive, which I don't really use. It came with the computer originally, so I decided to just keep it... Um, keep it installed. I put the drivers in, but I really don't have a use for it. I might, most time I use the floppy or the CD-ROM drive. I've got LPT ports. It has one uh, LPT1 port, which is a regular printer port. Uh, communications ports. Actually has one, just a standard 9-pin um, serial port for a mouse or something like that. Windows, I am running Windows 3.11 on here. Just give you a little bit of information about that. Uh, the IRQs, you can take a look at those. I know we don't talk much about those with modern day computers, but the 15 IRQs, that's what they're used for. Again, you can uh, pause the screen if you want, if you can read the, if you want to read this. Um, TSR programs. Yeah, that's also going back a ways. And I remember I used to have to disable a bunch of these in the early days if I wanted to get Windows to run properly. They tend to use a lot of memory. There aren't too many on here. And let's see what it has for device drivers. Not too much. Just showing what it has, like the LPT-1 communications port and the clocks and everything. We can go ahead and exit out of this. And yes, I do have the mouse drivers installed. And I have a bunch of games on here. I mean, if I do a DIR, I mean, you can see tons of them there. I have all the Commander Keens. Uh, I even have a Mario clone, which is really, really neat. Um, Wolfenstein, Ms. Pac-Man, um, Tetris, another original Mario. Willy Beamish is a really cool game. If I can, if, if I'm not too worried about YouTube Copyright Police, I might actually show that one to you later. Uh, Monster Bash, got a little bit of everything on here. Uh, Claim, I think that's a racing game. That's like Test Drive 1 or 2. Duke 3D, uh, the, the Jazz Jackrabbit. The second one only works in Windows 95, unfortunately. So, it's like I said, I got a lot of games on here. I'm going to go into Windows for a moment just to show you what that looks like. Microsoft Windows for Workgroups 3.1. I have quite a few things installed on here too. Got uh, Treasure Mountain, which is a really, really fun game. You guys probably remember that from, at least I remember that from my childhood. Uh, the original You Don't Know Jack will run on this computer, believe it or not. The second one won't because it requires a uh, true 16 bit sound card, which I do not have. My sound card in here, it, it'll emulate 16 bit, but it's really only an 8 bit. Broder Bun Software. Where in the world is Carbon San Diego version 3.5? Um, Expert Software. I'll open this up. This is a really cool. This is the Expert Crossword and more. Um, with this one, I don't know if you guys like word searches or crossword puzzles, but say you just wanted to relax with a word search, you can go in here and let's see. You can choose a category like uh, how about geography? And you can go over here and you can choose it. So let's try cities in Florida. And right there, you just have to find it. So let's see if we can find Boca Raton. Yeah, right there. And you click on it and you drag up to the end. And there you go. Now I am going to try to find some speakers for this because the sound card is installed properly and all, this game has some really cool sayings like it'll say congratulations every time you find a word or no that's not right. <laughs> but yeah as soon as I can get some speakers for this I will demonstrate this, this game further. But just some really cool old games and I, I kind of missed using this system that's why I really really wanted to hook it up again. We can get out of here. And with Windows 3.1, to actually exit it, you have to go up here to this little, little like, minus sign. You double-click that, and they'll answer, do you want to really end the session? You click OK. 
Well, instead of actually turning the computer off like a modern day Windows version, it'll actually just bring you back to DOS because Windows, any Windows of 495, 3.11, 3.1, version 2 or 1, actually ran over DOS. So you really, there was no way to shut the computer down that way. But once you're here at this prompt, you can go ahead and just go ahead and shut the computer off. Anyway, so that was a quick look at my DOS gaming system. Once I get the speakers going, I will try and do some gameplay on here. But uh, look, like I said, look forward to some more videos coming about this system. Um, I do also have a joystick for it. Actually, I have a joystick and a game pad. This is the joystick right here. And the game pad, yes, I know my drawers are messy. This is one of these. This is a uh, PC Pro Pad. I actually really like this one. It has a really, really nice feel to it. It's not really, re it's not like one of those cheap ones where this is. This has no tactile uh, feeling to it. It really, really does a nice job. And there's just some information about that. This brand, Performance, if my camera will focus, was very popular back in the mid to late 90s. So if you want to pause the video and get this, it's it's the Performance PC Pro Pad, Pro Pad Model SV230. And if you want to search eBay, I can guarantee you'll find some of these. This is really a basic one. I actually have another one that has uh, more options, but I, I don't know where it is at the moment. So again, guys, that's it for right now. And if you want to know anything specific about this computer, just uh, send me a, uh, a personal message or put it in the comments and I'll do a video on it. Until then, please like and subscribe and have a good day, everybody.